Okay, so I spent the GoPro here just doing some hockeying. Gotta do some hockeying. Got a few missions, but... Oh, 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 gotta get out of here. It's not quite hardened up yet. I, he must have just watered the rink about an hour ago or so. That's a nice sound. It's a triple. It's a... It's almost, it's almost like uh, listening to Mozart. You know, that's Beethoven, sorry. Uh, one or the other. Anyway. Yeah, this is not too bad. Good start, anyway. It takes a little while. I take a couple more waterings to smooth it out there. It's always roughest in the beginning. Oh, that's a nice sound. That's the sound you're going for. See, there's uh, it's kind of rough there. A few spots over there. But uh, it'll level out. Also, too, when you get a sunny day like this, it tends to, uh, sunny and windy, after you water it, it levels out just from the sun. It kind of levels it out. And then, uh, yeah, but the, the roughness here is because uh, he didn't water. There's a trick to watering so you don't get that roughness. Uh, you gotta do thin layers. Thin layers. Of all the guys that watered this ice rink, everybody always said I did the best ice when I was doing it. I wouldn't mind doing it again, but it's it's a job. I mean, uh, it's a job. I, I I took it like an art form, eh? So, but everybody else usually does a pretty good job on the ice anyway. So, but I always did the best, of course. Backhander off the board. Out. Backhander. And shoots, scores. Yeah, so you can see the pucks jumping around a bit there, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I guess uh, looks like I'll be. <laughs> wow, I'll be skating before Christmas. That's not too bad. Yeah, the stick just needs to be a little bit longer. It's a carbon stick, so it. Nice and stiff. Might need a little bit more springiness though for a good slap shot though. You want technical, you get the stiff stick. You want uh, good slap shots, you need something with a little bit of give and springiness. I almost got the trouble. Oh, I put it right where I didn't want to. Right there, that's where the sun's always beaming so it takes the longest time to, uh, to uh, harden up there. I don't want to walk on that too much. Put footprints in it, then it gets all it's a rough spot, eh? So yeah, I'll try to skate on her tomorrow. Yeah, about two more waterings and you'll have it just about perfect. Alrighty. Then you have to get a good uh Good way to stay in shape, anyway. Oh, it's nice right there. Chasing the puck around. Okay. You know what I love about hockey? You know what the best thing about hockey is? It's an easy game to follow. You got a little black puck going upwards of 105 miles an hour. Only a keen eye can keep their eye on that. I mean, in some countries, <laughs> I know, I know, I can't believe this either. <laughs> but they actually put like a little blue dot on the puck or a little red laser beam dot on the puck during the hockey game so people could follow the puck. <laughs> could you imagine the silliness? Yeah, I've taken pot shots at my southern brothers and sisters, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they still do that. I haven't watched hockey in a long time. I'm one of those guys I prefer to play the sports rather than watch them. Yeah, yeah. Why would I want to watch somebody else getting in shape, right? <laughs> yeah, that type of thing, but all right, it's all good. It's all good. Can tease and raz, have fun. But it's good to just get out, get you out of the house, especially for the so long, because I mean, we're still in December, boys and girls. Um, oh, he misses. Um, I don't remember, uh, uh, 
nobody to pass through, but I don't, whew, it's hard in the boots, I tell you. Uh, I don't remember uh, the rink ready before Christmas in a little, like years. Uh, it's always roughest down at this end, but if we judge for the wind and compensate for the angular momentum of the earth, maybe we can just... Oh, didn't get... Yeah, this stick is a little bit stiff for the slap shots, it's a little bit short too. I can't quite get that, that sweet spot. It's like somewhere around, this stick it seems somewhere around here. That's where you want to just... It's kind of like, it's almost the same as golfing. Like finding a sweet spot on a hockey stick, but once you find it, it's like you just barely hit it, it just drills it. You know? Boom. I haven't quite found it. Yeah, this stick, great for technical handling, but a little too stiff and a little too short for a good old pile drive and slap shot. But I guess I better get on to my next mission. But anyway, yeah, it's the first time the rink has been ready before Christmas to skate on in years. Uh, this is the most snow I've seen in December in years. This is, I mean, it's been minus 30 the last past week pretty much every night. Minus 10, 15 during the day is fine. I can deal with that. Yeah. Uh, well, my, so we're gonna go out here and see if we can see what the skiing is gonna be like. <laughs> if I go skiing and skating and play hockey one week, you know, before Christmas, so to speak, or a little bit more than a week, that'll be kind of like a first in a long time. So then I'm gonna go check out Mount Reg, the one I was skiing off last year. So even if you're broke, you know, doesn't mean you can't find cheap ways to entertain yourself. Gets you out, gets you in the fresh air. I came out last night. Hey, there's a little shack there. What the hell's a little? I gotta go explore that. Uh, I, I came out last night and I tell you, I slept okay last night. Just a little bit of running around I did on the rink. Did more today, running up and down the, up and down the town. Gave some people some laughs, I guess. You know, like, how Canadian is that? A guy going down the middle of a town with a hockey puck and a stick, playing hockey with himself. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't judge. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go check out that little, oh, that's a road sign, that's what it is. Look like a little cabin. I was like, hey, there's a new cabin there. Uh, definitely not deep enough for snowmobiles yet. But we're gonna scale Mount King Reggie here. And when we get up there, I'll show you, I'll show you if we can go skiing. I don't know if there's enough of a base to go skiing here. There's still some, I don't wanna scar up the skis. My skis are good, eh? So anyway, 